The most important question you will be asked in an interview is tell me about yourself. Your answer to this question, along with your resume, will set the stage for the rest of your interview. This is your chance to create a good impression that will make the rest of your interview go smoothly. Now don't freak out yet because you haven't lost the battle before you've even started because this is probably one of the easiest questions to answer as well. Some key things to note when answering this question. One, be chronological. Two, always link each phase of your life to the next. You may have to play a little connect four to connect the dots one to the other, but find that connection, find that link. I promise you it is there. And three, I think it's best if you try to make it easier on your interviewer and try to fill in all the gaps in your resume for them. You have to waterproof your house a little, fill in some of those cavities, and answer all the questions that you think your interviewer would have when they look at your resume. For me, on my resume, you would see that I went to a math and science high school, and then I worked in the lab, I did my undergrad in science, I did my master's in business and finance. My first experience was in IT consulting, which then became procurement, and then now I'm doing procurement. So I know that my interviewer would want to know, how did she get all the way from math and science and a science undergrad working in a research lab all the way over here to consulting or even to business? How did that connection happen? So let's take my example and let's practice. First, we'll talk about what you would not do. The first thing I would not do is I would not talk about procurement and then go back to high school and then go back to grad school and then go back to undergrad. And then the other thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't say I did my undergrad in science and then I decided to do my MBA in finance and then I decided to go to consulting and do IT consulting and then I decided to go to procurement. You need to elaborate a lot more than that. So this is how I would answer. I would say I went to a high school that was heavily focused in math and science. We were highly encouraged to do scientific research in the summer. I got a scholarship. I worked in a lab at a particular university. Love the lab, love science. I decided that I would pursue my undergraduate degree in science and work in the same lab. So naturally, that led me to go to this particular university. At this university, I love working in the lab. I thought it was great. I loved my major. I still love my major. But what I really, you know, I was starting to look back at my career and I was trying to reflect, you know, what do I really want to do for the rest of my life? Do I want to be an academic? Do I want to do research for the rest of my life? And so I really thought about it and I realized that it wasn't so much the research. It wasn't so much the science that I liked. It was really more the managing, the training people, the planning, the strategy of how am I going to do this next experiment, the looking at the data and analyzing and figuring out what it means, interpreting it. And that led me to to do my MBA in finance because I felt like it was much more business oriented and it was really just the strategy and the planning and the management of everything. And so it was a very natural transition for me to go ahead and do my MBA. I decided to do it in finance because I wanted to pull up that math and science, the quantitative skills that I had from high school. I wanted to pull up the quantitative skills that I really liked about science from all the analysis of the data. And so naturally for me, finance was the best decision. Once I graduated with my MBA, I had an offer from a consulting firm and it was in an IT field. I wasn't really interested in IT. I was actually more interested in finance because that's what I've been doing my concentration in. I mentioned this and they said, we'll move you to finance. And that was great. I was fine with it. I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to learn something that I was not aware of. And hey, maybe I would like IT too. I started working and I didn't really like IT, I really liked finance, that was really what I wanted to do. I volunteered on projects in the company and did finance related projects, loved it. I just through the nature of the process, I got moved from my IT project to a procurement project. I loved it even more than I liked finance and I worked on there for a year. I loved it and I realized maybe this is what I really want to do. I'm enjoying what I'm doing full time even more than what I'm doing on on the side volunteering even more than my finance project on the side and that really made me realize that procurement and supply chain is what I really want to do. Then I had an opportunity come up at this other company where I would be able to be in a procurement role as opposed to a consulting role and while I truly love consulting I really want to see what is it like on the other side. You know here I am giving advice to people in the industry but I've never been in the industry and I thought this would be a really good way for me to 
see the other side of things and learn what it's like to live the daily life of somebody that I'm giving advice to. I really thought that that would complement my experience and give me a broader view of things and it would catapult me in my career because I would have this you know, much broader view of, of my industry and then furthermore I would have a very deep view of what procurement supply chain are because I'm doing the day-to-day -day activities of somebody that's in that role. So let's talk about what I did there. First of all, it was chronological. I went from high school to research to why I decided to go and do my undergrad at this particular place in this particular field, from how I moved from there to my MBA, from how I moved from my MBA and you know the concentration I decided to do to my first job, to how I moved from my first job to my second job, and, and so on. Everything linked. I talked about the transition from science to business. I really liked the management aspect of it. I really liked the planning and the strategy and the analysis. And then I moved from finance, which is what I did my business degree in, to procurement. And three, I filled in all the gaps. When an er interviewer hears that, there really isn't a lot of questions that they have in terms of, well, why did you make this decision? Why did you make that decision? Now the conversation can go into, well, what was your experience like? Give me an example of when you manage people. Give me an example of when you have to deal with conflicts. Give me an example of when you did a serious, in-depth analysis. Now my interviewers have a very clear understanding of why I made the decisions that I did because that no career is going to be so perfect that you are always following the same path because we're always changing, we always want to try new things, we're basically exploring and this is the time to do that. But in an interview, it's not the place to say, well, I thought I would try this and I thought I would try that. It's the place where you have to explain that there was some method to your madness. Whether or not there was actually method to your madness, you have to find that link and it is there, I promise you. So just take the time to find the link and I promise it will help your interview so much. That's my advice for how to answer the question, tell me about yourself. If you have any questions about that, you know, send me a comment, send me a note, um, and I'll post another video on it or I'll respond. Um, and until then, talk to you next time.